the 15 inch MacBook Pro is one of the more specialised machines in Apple's product lineup. With prices starting at £1,700, it never comes cheap, while its 15 inch frame means it's not the most portable MacBook. Yet at 2 kilos, it's a lot more portable than most laptops this size, which is important if you need the kind of power its quad core Intel Core i7 processor provides in as portable a body as possible. There are other attractions too, the screen being the most obvious. The 2800 by 1800 resolution screen is ultra sharp, but is also accurate, bright and colourful. Its extra resolution is particularly useful for photo and video editing, reinforcing the point that this is more of a specialised tool than a general purpose computer like the smaller 13 inch MacBook Pro. As ever, it's beautifully engineered, a fact strengthened by the smooth glass touchpad that's become so integral to the MacBook's appeal. It's so good that it's one of the only touchpads we've used that we prefer to an actual mouse. Of course, this being Apple, connectivity isn't prodigious, but what's here is well chosen. There are just two USB 3 ports, though they're on separate sides so they can't block each other. The right hand one is joined by an HDMI output and an SD memory card slot. The left side, meanwhile, includes the alternative to HDMI, two Thunderbolt 2 ports. These do double service as mini display port outputs. In general use, the 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro flies. The quad-core CPU and PCIe SSD ensures virtually no delay doing everyday tasks, and it's fast enough to deal with image and video editing tasks at a good speed. Gaming performance isn't as impressive, however. Most come with Intel's Iris Pro graphics, and the only dedicated graphics option is a 2GB NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M that doesn't really have the gumption to handle games to a level we'd hope for a laptop at this price. This is disappointing, but the battery life is a reminder of why this is. Despite weighing just 2 kilos, Apple claims 8 hours of mixed use from full charge, and we manage 10 hours of light web browsing. These are fantastic results for a laptop this size. It's also a very cool and quiet machine, it will get noisy under load, but during general use you'll rarely know it has a fan to keep things cool. Overall this isn't a great desktop replacement if you want to play games, but that isn't such a big deal if you're more interested in doing video and graphics work and need the portability. If you're in the latter camp then the MacBook Pro remains a very good choice. Nothing can rival it for power and portability in one, even if it comes with a chunky price tag attached. For that reason alone we recommend it, but you have to need what it provides to make it worth it.